thinking about upgrading from Proxmox 8 to Proxmox 9. In this video, we'll break down the key differences from the base system and virtualization stack to storage, networking, high availability, and monitoring. Let's start with the foundation, the base system. Proxmox virtual environment is built directly on Debian Linux. In Proxmox 8, the platform runs on Debian 12, also known as Bookworm. With Proxmox 9, the base has been upgraded to Debian 13, Trixie. This upgrade matters because it brings a newer Linux kernel, updated drivers, and better support for modern hardware, CPUs, and storage devices. In simple terms, Proxmox 9 can run on newer servers with improved performance and security out of the box. Now let me show you this in action on my lab environment. I will open two SSH sessions, one to a Proxmox 8 host and another to a Proxmox 9 host. This is my Proxmox 9 host. This is my Proxmox 8 host. If I check the Debian version, you can see it's 12.8 on the Proxmox 8 host. On the Proxmox 9 host, running the same command shows Debian 13. Now I'll run a command to check the kernel version. The Proxmox 8 host displays kernel version 6.8. The Proxmox 9 host displays kernel version 6.14. That's the direct proof of the base system upgrade from Proxmox 8 to Proxmox 9. So the very first difference is clear. Proxmox 9 sits on top of a newer Debian release, giving you a stronger, faster, and more secure foundation to build your virtualization workloads. Next, let's look at the virtualization stack. Proxmox 8 runs on QMU 9.0.2 and LXC 6.0.0. With Proxmox 9, we get an upgrade to QEMU 10.0.02 and LXC 6.0.04, delivering better CPU feature support and faster emulation. ZFS also moves from 2.2.6 in Proxmox 8 to 2.3.3 in Proxmox 9. And for distributed storage, Ceph jumps from Quincy 17.2.7 to Squid 19.2.3, giving long-term stability and improved scalability. Here's the proof in our lab. You can check the QEMU version using this command. On Proxmox 8, it is 9.0.2. On Proxmox 9, Running the same command shows version 10.0.2. QEMU is the virtualization engine that powers virtual machines in Proxmox. Upgrading from 9.x to 10.x adds new CPU instructions and improves performance. Now you can check the LXC version using this command. LXC handles lightweight containers ideal for running Linux apps without the full VM overhead. The new version improves stability and compatibility. The ZFS version can also be checked using this command. ZFS is a powerful storage system with snapshots and checksums. Version 2.3 brings better performance and bug fixes compared to 2.2. You can check the Ceph version using this command as well. Ceph is a distributed storage backend for large clusters. So Proxmox 9 isn't just a Debian update. Its entire virtualization stack is refreshed for performance and reliability. Next up, networking. In Proxmox 8, software-defined networking was introduced in a basic form. Think of simple VLANs and bridges. But in Proxmox 9, SDN evolves into something more powerful with open fabric and OSPF support. That means your cluster can now create dynamic, advanced network fabrics, just like in big enterprise data centers. 
So instead of just basic connections, Proxmox 9 lets your cluster networks talk to each other intelligently. Let's jump into the Proxmox interface. On Proxmox 8, under the SDN menu, you'll only see the basic SDN setup, VLANs, and simple bridges. But when I switch to Proxmox 9, you can see new options, Open Fabric and OSPF. These protocols make your cluster networking much more flexible. For example, Open Fabric automatically builds the best fabric connections, and OSPF enables dynamic routing between nodes. This means less manual configuration and more enterprise-grade networking features out of the box. Proxmox 9 doesn't just improve the backend, it also makes life easier for admins. A brand new mobile web interface is included so you can manage your cluster right from your phone. That means whether you're starting or stopping VMs, checking storage, or keeping an eye on performance, you don't need a laptop anymore. With a mobile-friendly UI, cluster management is now literally in your pocket. Here's how it looks in the lab. On Proxmox 8, when you log in from a phone or resize your browser, the interface doesn't adapt well. Menus are cramped and navigation is tricky. But on Proxmox 9, the UI automatically adjusts to mobile screens. You get a cleaner menu, VM controls are touch-friendly, and you can easily monitor your cluster from anywhere. This makes on-the-go administration far more practical. High availability in Proxmox also gets smarter. In Proxmox 8, HA was limited to basic failover. If a node went down, VMs were simply restarted on another node. But in Proxmox 9, you gain much more control with affinity rules. Affinity means you can tell certain VMs to always run together. For example, a web server and its cache. Anti-affinity means you can spread VMs apart, like two database replicas, to improve redundancy. This gives you better load balancing and stronger fault tolerance. Let's see this in the lab. On Proxmox 8, when we open the data center to HA section, we only get basic failover policies. You can enable HA for VMs, but there are no placement rules. Now, switching to Proxmox 9, the HA menu includes affinity rules. Here we can create a rule to keep VMs together on the same node, or an anti-affinity rule to force them onto separate nodes. This is especially useful for clustered environments where redundancy and performance matter. It's a small UI change, but a big upgrade in cluster flexibility. Monitoring also gets a big boost in Proxmox 9. You can now see ZFS ARC memory usage directly in the dashboard, giving better visibility into how your storage cache is being used. On top of that, Proxmox 9 introduces a NIC pinning tool. This lets you lock network devices to their PCI addresses, reducing the risk of mismatched interfaces after kernel updates or hardware changes. Together, these tools make your cluster monitoring and networking more reliable. Here's the difference in action. On Proxmox 8, if you check the memory usage graph, you'll notice there's no visibility into ZFS ARC. But in Proxmox 9, a new ARC metric appears directly under memory usage, making it easy to track storage caching performance. So that's the evolution from Proxmox 8 to Proxmox 9. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.